let's start today's class in today's lecture we will start with reversing the direction of rotating magnetic field in our last class we have seen that if we have a stator configuration like this and the stator is connected with three phase supply and this is the current through a green one is the current through c and the blue one is the current through the b then there is a creation of rotating magnetic field and it rotates in the anti-clockwise direction now let us see what will happen if we interchange the connection of any two phases for example if we change uh, the connections of a and b keeping c fixed or b and c keeping a fixed or c and a keeping b fixed any of the two connections are to be interchanged then what happens so let me name these phases this is phase a current this is phase b current and this is phase C current. Now, if we interchange two connections, phase A and B between themselves, so phase A will be connected here, phase A will be connected with B, and phase B will be connected with A, and the connection of the phase C will not be changed. So, here we'll have phase C connection. Now let us plot the vector diagrams for some discrete cases. One vector diagram will be plotted here. First of all, we need to understand the magnetic field due to phase A current. Previously, it was moving in this direction because phase A was connected here. So, field was moving in this direction. But as we changed the connection of phase A and phase B, so at this moment the magnetic field due to phase A will be moving in this direction and magnetic field due to phase B current will be moving in this direction as phase B is connected here so let me interchange the positions so these will be the direction of magnetic field due to phase B current and this will be the direction of magnetic field due to phase A current and we will plot another vector here. Now the equation for resultant magnetic field Bm will be B a, a prime plus B BB prime plus BCC prime. These are the vectors which can be written as B maximum sine omega t. Now the position of BAA prime is 120 degree from the x axis. The mechanical position of this can be written as 120 degree. Now, the mechanical position of BB prime is at 0 degree. So, this will be BM sine omega t minus 120 degree and the position, mechanical position will be 0 degree plus the position of BCC prime remains unchanged so we can write like the previous one BM sine omega t minus 240 degree and the angle will be 240 degree mechanical position let us consider case 1 case number 1 where we will take omega t equal to 0 degree if we consider omega t equal to 0 degree then b a a prime becomes 0 b b b prime becomes minus root 3 by 2 b m and b 
cc prime becomes root 3 by 2 bm these were found out in our previous lectures so if we plot then baa prime is 0 bb prime is minus root 3 by 2 for our case bb prime is in this direction so minus root 3 by 2 will be in this direction so this is root 3 by 2 of bm and due to minus sign it's having the opposite direction of original bb prime and bcc prime is root 3 by 2 of bm so this will be on the top of this line and the summation of this three vector 0 plus this plus this will give us the value of bm that means resultant magnetic field now if we draw the resultant vector will get the resultant magnetic field for omega t equal to 0 degree so this is the resultant magnetic field and if we calculate as we did in our previous lectures we will get the net magnetic field will be equal to 1.5 bm now if we consider another case for example case Two. This was case one. Now we'll consider case two. Let me separate this part. Case two is for omega t equal to thirty degree. For omega t equal to thirty degree, the value of B A A prime becomes half B M. B B prime becomes minus bm small m this will be the small m and b c c prime becomes 1 by 2 bm so if we plot this and if we try to get the vector summation so b a a prime will be in this direction on the top of this line and this is half bm bb prime is minus 1 so bb prime will be here and the magnitude will be twice of this magnitude because this is half bm so this is minus 1 bm and bcc prime is again half bm now if we add these three vectors the vector the summation vector will be on the top of this minus bm line so finally we'll get the resultant magnetic field will be 1.5 b small m and the direction is in this direction now we can see initially it is started here then after omega t equal to 30 degree then resultant magnetic field comes here so it's like that it's rotating in this direction so you can say previously it was rotating in the anticlockwise direction then after interchanging a and b this magnetic field is rotating in the clockwise direction the so clockwise direction we can check the case by changing b and c as well and we'll see the direction of the rotating magnetic field again reverses so we can come to a conclusion that how to revert the direction of rotating magnetic field we can say by interchanging the connection of any two phases any two phases so if previously the rotating magnetic field was rotating in the clockwise direction if we change the connection of any two phases then it will start rotating in the anti-clockwise direction again if we change any other two phases the connection of any other two phases then the rotating magnetic field will start rotating in the opposite direction in this way we can change the direction of rotating magnetic field this is a very important phenomenon and this will play an important role when we will change the direction of the rotor of an induction motor if we can change the direction of rotating magnetic field we will be able to change the direction of rotor as well so how can we change the direction of the rotating magnetic field we have come to know that by changing any of the two phases of 
थ्री फेस सप्लाई विल स्टार्ट द रोटर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ एन इंडक्शन मोटर इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर